Concrete Jungle strikes again. This time, Nas is the statue. It's been a minute since we reviewed a Concrete Jungle statue, and that's because they take a while to produce, but I have never been disappointed by a release yet. Aside from how long it takes to come, that's about the only negative outlook I have. But at this point, in the last, let's say, three years, I kind of come to expect things to take long with all these pre-orders taking a while to get produced, pandemic, you name it, everything has been getting in the way of getting your things fast and it's okay. I was actually not in a rush to get this. I was fine with waiting because I have plenty of really dope collectibles. Now what you're looking at is the Nas X Mass Appeal X Concrete Jungle X Hip Hop 50 statue. This thing is probably the most detailed yet with tons of little Easter eggs all over this statue. You got Nas standing on the Queens Bridge houses, got a boom box, got a crown, gold bricks, a scepter. In the back is a more detailed view of Queens Bridge from Illmatic. Got the bridge in the background, smoke everywhere, comes with six replaceable heads. You got the OG head with the bandana. The I am Pharaoh head, which if you're one out of 25 people, you would be lucky enough to get a metallic version of that, which basically means you wouldn't get the OG version, but you would get the metallic one instead, which I'm not going to lie. I like shiny things and I would prefer that to the OG version, although the OG one is equally dope. You have the it was written head sculpt, which is the same as the nasty Nas head sculpt, except the nasty Nas one has the grill and that happens to be my favorite one because it has a little magnetic piece where a little thought bubble or sign can attach to it that makes it look like Nas is saying nasty Nas in your area right yep that's what it says just have to double check and I really like that because it's a different touch to my other concrete jungle statues the regular I am Pharaoh head the Nostradamus with the hoodie head sculpt and the stillmatic head sculpt this statue is a little bit lighter than the rest of them, which is great because if you have floating shelves, you don't want to pack too much weight on them because there's always this weird fear that they may fall and get destroyed. And if you're like me, I have a plan of putting as many concrete jungle statues on one shelf, so I definitely want to make sure the shelf can hold it and they don't keep getting heavier. This weighs just around eight to nine pounds and is 13 and a half inches tall by seven and a half inches wide at about just over five inches deep. Pause. There was only 650 of them made and they're signed by Steven Scartosio from Concrete Jungle and Nas. Mine is number 368 out of 650. They retail for $500, but after checking the Mass Appeal website, I noticed there's still a few available for sale. So if you missed out on it and you don't want to pay the heavy eBay prices, which I've seen them sell for just under 3000 to an average about just under 1300 you can still get one for a retail price. There's really no shortage of dopeness with this. Oh yeah, and I forgot to mention, the initial outfit was modeled after Nas's It Ain't Hard To Tell music video. I'm super happy with this statue. Shout out to Concrete Jungle for once again killing this. Shout out to Mass Appeal and Hip Hop 50 and everybody involved in this release because this is a really dope piece to add to my collection. And I gotta say that Nas is one of my favorite MCs, so I never feel like I have enough Nas stuff. But then again, I'm a collector with a huge problem, so I always feel like I never have enough of anything. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy the content, you already know what to do. And if I miss anything, leave it in the comments. Peace.